What's going on guys, Team Art here, and today we're starting up a new series called Ghost's Gun Review, where I'm going to go through all the primary weapons in Call of Duty Ghost, giving you guys all the important information and personal opinions that you guys need to know to make yourselves a better player. We're going to be reviewing all of the weapons in the game, and the best part is, is we're going to be trimming out the fat and irrelevant details and doing it in three minutes or less for each weapon. So you guys ready? Here we go. Now in this episode, we're starting off with the AK-12. This is one of my favorite guns in the game, and it's definitely a go-to one for me. No matter what map I'm on, no matter what game type I'm playing, this is a very, very solid gun that constantly yields good results. So I had to start off with my baby here. So uh, first up, the iron sights are absolutely amazing. They're very open-ended with a trident in the middle that makes it very easy to see what's going on. And in fact, I think they're some of the best iron sights in the game. I think you're doing yourself a disservice if you're using an optic on this weapon. It's perfect without it. Use your attachment slots on something else. Now next up, we've got damage. This thing does 49 damage up close and 25 damage at a distance. It only takes 100 damage to kill somebody. So this thing is a very very high damage assault rifle the average for the assault rifles class is 43 up close and 22 to distance So this thing is definitely above average and, and the only thing that does more damage than it is the MSBS Which does 55 per bullet and, and then also the Remington R5 is tied with it at 49 per bullet up close So uh, this thing is definitely one of the more damage dealing weapons in the game now next up for shots to kill up to 36 meters, this thing is a three shot kill and then it's a four shot kill for any other distance, no matter how far the enemy is from you. So, uh, this thing is very, very good. It's got an amazing range for assault rifles. It's got a really good range for pretty much any weapon class in the game. So, this thing is going to be able to sit people down very, very quickly, which is obviously very important. Now, uh, if you get headshots, this changes the game a little bit. Each headshot gives you a 1.4 times damage for that bullet. So, that pretty much gives you one less bullet to kill at whatever range you're at. So, if you get one headshot with your shots, this thing is going to be a two to three shot kill depending on your range. So it's it's very, very good. Now, in terms of rate of fire, the rate of fire is 689 rounds per minute where the average for assault rifles is 728. So it is a little bit slower than average, but because it has such a high damage rate, it all kind of evens out. Now, uh, next up for recoil, this thing is very, very good. It's low to medium for assault rifles. The only one that's better than the AK-12 for recoil is the SC-2010. I mean, you know, it's so manageable that you can even hold the trigger down at long range and still be very accurate. So, recoil is not a problem with this weapon. The magazine size is standard for assault rifles. Pretty much all of them are 30 and 45. And then finally, for the reload speed, this is its only downfall. The AK-12 does reload slower than most of the other weapons in the game, and sometimes I find myself in bad situations because of that, but, you know, with all the other upsides, it's really not that bad. So, uh, boom, there you guys have it. That is the AK-12 in a nutshell. Uh, pretty much all of the important stats for this weapon in three minutes or less. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Now, uh, towards the end of these ghost gun review videos, I want to give you guys my recommended class setups. Now, obviously, we couldn't fit this in three minutes because it's usually going to take a little bit longer. But, uh, but yeah, I want to give you guys recommended classes for each of the weapons that we cover. Now, uh, for the AK-12, I've only really got one go-to class. That, like I said, it it's good in any mode, in any map, you know, anything you want. This thing is going to outclass most of the other weapons on the battlefield. So, uh, what it is, is it's right here. For my attachments, I always use silencer and grip. They're just, they're too good, man. Silencer keeps you off the map, it keeps you stealthy because this gun is so, uh, you know, powerful and it does so much damage. The reduced ranged effect of the silencer really doesn't affect it that much. You can still get very, very quick killing, uh, you know, engagements. And then also for the grip, you know, obviously that's going to help you manage the recoil even more. And this thing kind of shines at medium to long ranges. So when you have grip on, that's really going to turn it into pretty much like a laser rifle that, that you can just take people down no problem. Now, uh, other attachments you could use if you prefer other things. Uh, one I would recommend is the muzzle brake. You know, that's going to increase your range. You're going to do uh, a three-shot kill at more distances. So obviously that's going to be pretty good. And, and then also one you might want to consider is the extended max. Like I mentioned towards the end of our stat, that's frenzy. Uh, it really kind of reloads slower than most of the other weapons in the game. And, and so, you know, if you have those extra 15 bullets, you know, you start with 30. If you put extended mags on, you get 45. If you have those extra 15 bullets, that's really going to help you out if you struggle with the reloading feature of this weapon. So uh, that could be something you could look into. Uh, and then also for my AK-12 class, 
As with most of my multiplayer classes, I like to load up on perks. I don't think that I use lethal and tactical grenades and secondaries enough to warrant not using perks. So what I like to run it with is ready up, agility, marathon, quick draw, and off the grid. I want to stay silent. I want to get in people's faces. I want to be rushing spawns. I want to be flanking constantly. That's how I like to use this weapon. You may want to use different perks. You may want to use, you know, a secondary or lethals or tacticals or whatever else. That's kind of up to you. But, but really the most important part of this class setup uh, is the attachments. So I would definitely go with either silencer, grip, uh, extended mags, or muzzle brake. Those are the four ones that you definitely have to use on this weapon. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this series. If you want me to continue to do more weapons, please leave support, likes, favorites, comments, all that kind of stuff is greatly appreciated. And if you guys have any other, you know, segments or sections or anything I can add to this series, feel free to leave suggestions down in the comments because I'd love for this series to grow into, into whatever you guys would like to see. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Check out one of the other two videos if you haven't seen them yet. Peace out.